man oh man that feels so good what a game good morning guys how's it going thank you for tuning in to another video rush here today i got a few packages in the mail and we're gonna start doing some modifications to the mustang very small stuff to begin with as the bigger stuff starts rolling in you know i'm ordering a bunch of parts for this car and we're gonna do this build right but it does take time obviously you know just with like, anything shipping stuff like that it takes a while so i hope you guys can hang along today we have a few smaller things so let me go ahead and unbox this first thing that i picked up um and this is for the clutch so a lot of you guys probably already know what i'm about to do but let me go ahead and kind of show it to you so this right here is from Steeda. uh it's called a clutch spring so it's a 35 pound clutch spring and the reason is um, i hate the way the stock clutch spring is uh it just makes it very weird to tell where the the bite is for the clutch so this should help out a little bit give me a little more feel on the clutch and help me drive a little better so we're gonna install that the next thing is i don't know if you guys can see the booty of uh, the mustang here but i also ended up picking up uh the smoked rear led little pieces right here and these will go on uh, the back bumper and this is gonna look pretty good I think it's gonna look a little better than the red kind of flow with the whole blacked out look with the car so let's go ahead and install all this stuff it's only gonna be pretty simple to install as long as I learn how to take these out and both of these I picked up off of Amazon which is pretty cool since I have prime so it didn't take too long to get over here so if you guys are interested for anything that I install in this video, you'll find everything in the description below. Let's go ahead and get to work installing these. I'm gonna start off doing the lights first and uh, see how that goes. So here we go. So it's super simple to do. All you gotta do is go underneath the car, find the marker and kind of just push it out just like so. It comes right out guys, super simple. And now you just gotta undo it from right here, do the, undo the connector, done. Once the connector is out, is unscrewed, you gotta just twist this bulb out of here, just like that. There's your bulb. And you wanna take this out of the base here, and the new LED side marker plugs into this base. Okay guys, here's our new LED side marker. Take it out of the packaging here. And now you gotta plug this in to the little bulb base end here. And just make sure it snaps into place. If it does give you a hard time going in, sometimes the sizing isn't perfect on these because they're aftermarket. If it does do that, I'll show you what you guys need to do. So if it gives you a hard time going in because the size of this is a little too wide, you just want to grab some pliers and grab the plastic ends of it like this. So I don't know if you guys can see that. And you just want to kind of squeeze them down a little bit just like so to kind of flatten them and make sure they go in to the bulb base right here. So now they should fit right in just like that, perfect fit. Now you want to just take this and shove it all the way in there to make sure that there's nothing that's going to get in between it in terms of water or anything like that and, and damage it. So there we go. Now we're ready to go and put it back inside. So to get it inside, all you gotta do is just kind of plug it in right here, just like so. It should plug, and then you gotta put the back end in first because of this little piece right here, just like that. And the other piece will just snap into place. You can take that off, and next we just test to make sure that it works, and it does, so we're good. Alrighty guys, so just as simple as that, as you can see now, we went ahead and got rid of that little red in the back, and it looks pretty clean. It kind of blends in a lot more. It doesn't grab your attention as much as the red did before. So on either side here, as you can see, it doesn't really show too much. And then the moment you unlock the car, you'll be able to see the red, which is cool. So that way you're not really breaking the laws. You still have a reflector in the back and you're visible to traffic and stuff like that. So there you go. When you open it up, you will clearly see the red. And it looks really, really nice because it's full LED. It's not just like a small bulb in the back. You can actually see the full thing. 
Alrighty boys, so we went ahead and switched out the side markers. It looks really good. But now it's time to go ahead and switch out the clutch spring. This I'm very excited for because I have 600 miles on the car so far and it is something I definitely noticed and I wanted to do really, really early on. So we're gonna go ahead and unpackage it. It is from Steeda, like I said, and I did pick it up on Amazon. So hopefully it works out really well today and I don't have to return it. But it's pretty much just a spring. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so here is the clutch spring that we're gonna be replacing. It sits right on top of the clutch pedal. Clutch pedal, clutch spring is all the way up there. Right here, whoops, there it is. So we're gonna take this out and replace it with our new Steeda clutch spring. You're gonna use pliers to do this. Just squeeze the uh, spring and get it removed. So here we go. Alrighty guys, so I finally got the stock clutch spring out took a little bit of wrestling with it but it came out so here it is and you can tell kind of the difference between the two right there this one obviously is going to be much firmer a lot of resistance on it versus the 30 foot pine you can kind of squeeze it with your hand so I'm going to go ahead and throw this back in super simple to do um, just takes a little bit of uh, effort to kind of just get it to slide out so I'm going to go ahead and put it in. I'll take the car for a drive, see how it does. And I'll give you guys kind of my first reaction with it. Alrighty guys, so I'm taking this thing out for a spin right now to get a feel for it. And man, oh man, has it made such a good difference switching out this clutch spring. It feels so nice. You know, when you just you just listen to uh, those downshifts, that rev match is really nice, but the feel in the clutch is so much more, um, you know, it's so much more predictable. You know where the clutch is gonna bite. That is something I was having a lot of trouble with previously. It was so springy, the, the clutch pedal would just, I didn't know where it was engaging correctly and it was very hard to try to kind of get the car off the line in a very smooth fashion because it felt like it just was, it all felt the same. But versus now, you can definitely feel that engagement point. And it feels really good. So it's crazy how a $20 uh, clutch spring makes such a big difference. But it really does. So uh, I definitely recommend it, at least on the GTs. I don't know about the GT350s, but on the GTs, it definitely feels really good. And it, you can tell where the clutch is grabbing. So that's exactly what I wanted. And that's the reason I picked it up. Man, that feels so good. What a game changer, dude. Just a simple clutch spring and I have so much better pedal feel. That is crazy. I don't know why they put that stiff spring in there. That spring just does not feel good whatsoever. Can't wait to be able to rip this thing the way I want you guys. Alrighty guys, so that is gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, we did the clutch spring today, which was definitely a big thumbs up for me because you definitely get a better feel of where the clutch engages. And that's really important when you're driving manual. You need to know where the clutch engages so that you can get your shifts down and really kind of drive the car fast and not wear out your clutch and damage anything in the process. We also did this mod back here, which you guys saw me do. And I'm a big fan of this one because it looks really, really good. Uh, definitely kind of brings the car's uh, style up a little bit because LED is the way to go. You definitely don't want those old uh, little bulbs that were in there before. So it matches the car, it looks really good and it's such an affordable mod. So both these mods, if you are interested, are gonna be left in the description below. I picked both of them up from Amazon. Relatively cheap, a total of $60 to do these both and uh, they look awesome. So if you are interested in picking them up, check out the description. If you like this video and enjoyed watching it, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Rush, there's my GT, my SRT's across the street over there if you guys can see it. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.